But um, some of you guys might have seen I did um, America's Got a Talent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know when a dog is like totally out of control and it's like humping air? <laughs> That's us right now.
transistor from another transistor. Um, but she has kids and she's got a lot of friends, you know, sometimes when you become a parent, you just attract other parents and you're like, oh my god, will you take my fucking kid, holy shit. So she's got a community of little kids and it's awesome because I'm like their, their, their bad auntie Stormy. And the rule is, you go in and you're like, okay kids, what's the rule? And they all in unison go, never ever repeat anything auntie Stormy says. <laughs> And I finished the song and was laughing and, and, and celebrating and clicking their glasses and, and yucking it up. And I look and I see Leo and he's standing there, a little Spider-Man with his muscles. And the look on his face was betrayal. He was devastated. And I was like, and I, I tried to say something and he just looked at me and went, Like, holy shit! So he, okay, he didn't talk to me for two weeks. Wow. I know. And so I finally went over there and I talked to his mom. I was like, this is a song that I'm pretty sure they don't want me to play on America's Got Talent.
things Tell you the story of who I am So many stories of where I've been And how I got to where I am But these stories don't mean someone else's names, I mean, uh, it feels good at the moment, but it doesn't help. So I wanted to write to that. So I was just sort of meditating about love and love songs, and just came up with this weird thought that, you know, all of humanity needs, we need love. Babies will die if you don't touch them when they're born. And God knows we know how, how if we were, I was alone. I was, uh, I didn't have a pod. In, uh, in Portland. I was absolutely by myself. And so I was, my skin ached. My body was hungry for touch and just 
not just sex, but just like, somebody hold my hand, somebody let me know that I'm okay, you know, that I'm alive, that I'm here. And we ask everything of love. We need love, we pray for love, we wish for love, and we, when someone's in trouble, we send our love, because it's our human magic. It's our human magic. And so this thought occurred to me, wow, we ask everything of love as humans, everything. But what does love want? All of us little peeled, fucked up, weird monkeys all over the planet. <laughs> and we're like, love, 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 and this giant good cough in this chorus. And love is this one big, beautiful thing. What does love want? So what does love want? If love could ask anything of us, what would love ask? Stand up for me, and we'll stand together. I'm the sky above you. Oh, I love you, everyone. Stand up for me, for your great grandmother, for your father, brother, and each other.
Relax the <laughs> 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 